watches are up from Savannah, Georgia to North Carolina's Outer Banks. Forecasts have Sandy making landfall somewhere from Virginia to North to New England. The biggest threat will be pounding rain and strong winds, which could reach 60 miles per hour. Helping with rescues, evacuations, damage assessments, and delivery of essential aid. The DOD is also providing planes and choppers to support search and rescue operations along the coastline. The death toll wrote from the powerful storm rose to 33 today and about 7 million people remain without power. New York City and New Jersey were hit especially hard with thousands of residents in shelters, streets flooded with salt water, and an inferno in the Queens neighborhood of Breezy Point that burned dozens of homes. That's your TPC News update. Food and water to flooded neighborhoods throughout New York City and other areas across the state. Reports say at least 32 New Yorkers were killed in the storm and damages to the city are being estimated at almost $20 billion. Along with troops from New York State, help is coming from as far away as Georgia, North Carolina and California. Areas in New York and New Jersey have been suffering through major gas shortages, resulting in long lines at gas stations and no heat for their homes. Also this weekend, Commander-in-Chief Barack Obama directed the Defense Logistics Agency to buy up to 12 million gallons of unleaded fuel and 10 million gallons of diesel fuel to distribute to affected it areas affected by Hurricane Sandy. The fuel is being trucked to National Guard armories in affected areas in New York and